Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to Crystal's Crystal Clear Visions, where y'all know I like to use my visions, tarot, oracle, music, movies, dreams, whatever, to get us messages from the most high, our angels, our ancestors, our guides, our loved ones here and past over. Y'all know they like to bring us words of encouragement, they like to help us get past any blockages, and I'm going to keep it a buck y'all sometimes. They like to let us be a little bit nosy, okay? So thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your subscriptions to the channel. Thank you to everyone who has visited my Shopify, made purchases there. Thank you to you guys who, um, you know, whatever you guys did to help me grow, okay? Thank you for your likes, your shares, your subscribes. Thank you for um, your comments on the videos. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate all the love that you guys give and show, okay? If you are new here, welcome. Welcome to the channel. I hope that you um, enjoy this content here, okay? Make sure that you, uh, again, if you enjoy it, you like, you share, you subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you know when I go live or when I upload videos, okay? Now, let me preface this video by saying it is for entertainment and educational purposes only. So, please, you guys, use discernment as you check out this video, all right? Now, I'm going to go ahead and... Um, start the lifting of the vibrations around me with my singing bowl so that I can start channeling that Reiki energy to you guys. You know, I love to channel that Reiki energy. It's a very healing modality. It helps to balance the chakras. Chakras. <laughs> chakras. <laughs> it helps to balance them. It helps to get you in alignment. It helps to clear any types of blockages. It's a wonderful modality to um, engage in. So if you don't know much about Reiki, I definitely recommend that you check it out. But let's go ahead and get started. You can definitely get a taste of it here. Let's go. and get started y'all know y'all have to consent to the energy so you're going to say it out loud or to yourself that you are consenting of this healing energy okay if you have a particular place that you would like for this energy to flow you can think about that place now my intention is that it goes where it needs to go for you in your body and it helps heal where you need healed okay then you're going to close your eyes with me take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth and then through your nose and out through your mouth and one more deep breath in and out all right you guys should be feeling nice and relaxed, okay? You may feel a tingle going through your body. You may not feel anything. It's perfectly fine, okay? It's intelligent energy. It's going to do what you need it to do, okay? Um, you'll notice those changes very subtly, okay? Because it is subtle, all right? Now, I'm going to continue to let this energy flow through me to you guys as I channel this message. Once I end the channel, I will end the Reiki, okay? Now, don't worry if you... Um, once I end it, if you would like to get another hit of that, you can always click on another video because I do infuse all of my videos with this healing energy. Or you can join my membership channel where I go live with you guys. I interact. We um, I make sure that you are actually feeling those energy vibrations. It's just a vibe, okay? So shout out to the members. And if you ain't a member yet, what you waiting on? Sorry, y'all had to interrupt that video. I can't remember where I was at, but I think I was finishing up the Reiki. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, you can join my membership channel um, where I do live sessions with you guys. So, if you ain't over there, what you waiting on, okay? So, let's go ahead and get started with the messages. Before I got ready to record, I had went live, but it, something was not working. So, I decided to just record the video. Now, in the when I went 
to record the video, I heard they want you to shut up. They want you to be quiet. They don't want you to tell your situation, your truth, your story here, okay? So we're going to see what that's all about here, okay? Who wants you to shut up, collective? What, what, what's the issue here? Why can't you speak your truth, speak your mind? Free your mind and the rest will follow. Be colorblind, don't be so shallow. All right. Holy Spirit, what is the energy surrounding these people? Yes. You're watching a scary movie, so someone's scared here. They're afraid, okay? They're <laughs> What they're watching is scaring them. Some truth is coming out here, okay? They are afraid of this truth coming out scary. Your shampoo dyed your hair electric blue here, okay? So somebody is definitely um, shocked here about some information that they're seeing, that they're hearing here, okay? It's, it's scaring them because I guess the truth is coming out here. Okay, because blue signifies truth. Um, it signifies some sort of speaking here, okay? Um, and they've dyed their hair this color here. So someone is a little bit embarrassed as well about this truth coming out here. Um, and it's like they're watching it in real time. And it's just like, oh my God, how do they know this? How did they get this information? And it's really got this person shocked, okay? And so they want you to be quiet. So sad, you were about to have a great sneeze, but the feeling went away here. Okay, so somebody was about to release something here, okay? They thought that they had gotten away with whatever they had done behind the scenes and so they were about to release and just when they was about to let it go it went away okay this got to be a disturbing feeling we got sad you're at a high school reunion no one remembers you this person someone is feeling like they are not seen here okay they are feeling as though um no one um, notices them here they did not make a very good impact on other individuals here okay and so they're um afraid of you um, bringing this truth to light is what I'm getting here. Okay, then we got happy coming out in reverse. Your loved one just came out of the arrival gate at the airport here. So someone is waiting on a loved one to arrive. And I feel like this person has not showed up. And this person is sad here. Um, that's why this person is um, afraid here, okay, about this truth that's coming out. Because it's causing someone to leave them, okay. It's causing someone to see them for who they truly are here, okay. It's highlighting this person's... Um, shadow side the side that they are wanting to keep hidden here okay um and so i feel as though this person feels as though their loved one may um may be listening to you or maybe being impacted by something that you are saying here okay it also has someone mad here okay you're trying to get off of a crowded bus no one will move out of your way here so someone is very upset here okay because they're trying to get to their destination and someone is trying to stop them from getting to this destination here is trying to make them miss um getting off at this stop here okay and so that's why these people want you to be quiet at this time they don't want you to speak your truth here okay you're making um these karmics i'm feeling like this is the karmic energy you're making the karmics upset because you're exposing what it is that they have been doing behind the scenes or you're exposing their true character here you have people their loved ones or people that you know they manipulated into loving them questioning what they got going on here okay questioning if what you're saying is true here we got bad health so someone is definitely in bad health they could be hiding the fact that they may be sick okay that they um don't have control over their life here with card 31 breaking down to four which is the emperor and we know the emperor has control over their life here this is someone who is in charge here i feel as though this person is going through bad health and so this bad health is keeping them from having control over their life here okay this could be a privileged lady here someone who is all about the money here so this is definitely somebody who's trying to keep um a relationship going um based off of rumors and lies here okay this privileged lady could have caused another individual to be sick here as well and this individual is the one who is now questioning um what is going on in their life here or questioning um the situation that is uh, revolving around whatever this is that you some sort of truth that you may have spoken collective here okay this person, I feel like they don't know what the next move is, which is why they are kind of wanting you to just be quiet so they can get their mind or their thoughts together here so they can keep up this charade that they have going here. Okay. Um, again, this person may have done something and they felt as the you know, nobody noticed it here, whatever they did in the background. They feel as though nobody may have noticed whatever this is here. And so they feel like they got away with it here. Okay, but now you may be shining light back on this situation here. 
okay? Or maybe this person, um, now this person feels as though they're not memorable here in someone's mind here. Yeah, we have community here. So someone is definitely worried about how the community sees them. Um, but again, they were putting on some sort of facade here, okay? Some sort of front here. Um, and, and now people are seeing the truth about this individual. This is why they want you to be quiet here. This is why they don't want you to speak up here. I do get that this is a feminine energy with this mature woman coming up here. This could also be someone that was um, could have been involved in another relationship um, this could be a same-sex relationship with two feminine energies here. Um, I feel as though um, maybe they thought that there was some sort of sickness that could not be passed on or they called someone, they worked together to call someone to be sick. And there could be a lot of gossip going on around this situation here, okay? Like I said, this person felt like they had gotten away with whatever this was that they tried to pull over someone's eyes. I feel like they tried to call someone to be sick or they did call someone to be sick here. Um, and, and you may have spoken this truth here, okay? And these people, again, they're trying to figure out how do you know this? How do you, um, how did you get in this knowledge here? Okay, um, when it came to this situation here. Someone feels as though someone is, um, yeah, they're watching you. They're listening to what you're saying here. They're, they're thinking about things that are going on in their life. That's why this karmic energy wants you to be quiet because you are speaking um, truth that they had kept hidden is what I'm getting. Situations that they did not want to get out here, okay? You're having this person that they may have tried to cause illusions over. You're having this person and also other people in the community to see this person for who they truly are here. And it has them shook. Because you know things about this person that no one knows, that the average person may not know about this individual here. And again, they're trying to understand, like, how do you know this? How did you get this information here? And it also has them shook because, again, it's some sort of truth coming out here. Yeah, someone had a path to choose here, okay, with this Ace of Wands here. Um, this person was supposed to... Um, was given a gift from the most high okay uh, on which direction that they wanted to go so someone was given some sort of free will here okay this could be an emperor energy again another card of 31 here okay this person may have chose a path that may have taken them towards bad health here or just a toxic path here okay and they chose this path because again someone may have um done something behind the scenes here okay to cause this part to influence this person's choice here okay and this person ended up going down the wrong road here someone also could have a feminine energy could have um been doing like hoodoo spell work type magic here they tried to meet um a deity at the crossroads i feel as though they may have met maybe a trickster trickster spirit and now this person is going through some sort of sickness here okay they could have tried to sacrifice the individual and an emperor energy here um and this is coming to the light here okay like i said this is backfiring on them whatever work that they did at this crossroad here okay because now they are having sickness or um i feel as though they are going through this sickness but they intended for this sickness to go towards um either a mature woman here okay um, or they intended this sickness to go towards um, this emperor energy here. Like I said, it's, it's backfiring on them. Yeah, we got the two of swords. So, yeah, someone definitely influenced somebody's decision here. Okay, they may have had knowledge that this person um, had a particular direction or road that they were supposed to be traveling upon here. And so this person may have, this person could have even tricked this individual here by telling this person that you should go um, down this path here. This is the right way for you to go. Um, don't go down that other path. It's evil. It's dangerous. Here, I know a shortcut is what I'm getting from this, okay? I feel like this is someone, this privileged lady gives me someone who could be all about the money. So they may have known about this person's future here. They could have known that this person was supposed to be a star or someone that was successful here okay and all the things that they do here and so they uh, again got in contact with this emperor energy here um, and they tried to make this emperor feel as though they were the best choice here okay um, that they would help them to grow this empire here um, when in all actuality this person was just trying to suck this person dry so I'm getting like um, heavy Jezebel energy or um, 
an energy vampire here. So they're trying to drain this person's energy, trying to drain this person's light here by heading this person down the wrong path here, okay? Um, yeah, and they're afraid that this is going to be this is going to come out because someone has mentioned this and I feel as though this emperor energy is like pondering on this idea here. Okay, they're thinking about on the past about what may have happened, how they got to the point that they are at. They're seeing someone and some things, some family and some friends in different lights at this time here. Okay, we got the page of Pentacles here. Yeah, this person has been thinking, thinking back on um, making some sort of offer here. Okay, maybe um, this person was thinking about um, marrying this privileged lady here, but something within them told them to hold out here and just kind of pay attention to what is going on here. Um, watch this person. Um, so this person was kind of given, um, they followed their intuition to kind of give this person some sort of test here. Okay. Um, to see who this person truly was, if this was someone that they could truly build something with here. Okay. Um, card number 14 is temperance, which temperance talks about balance. It also talks about um, an earth angel or being an earth angel, which is just someone who is um, helping the earth to um, raise the vibration or helping the people on earth to raise their vibration here um, to bring balance and justice to um, unjust situations here. Okay. So this person could themselves be some sort of earth angel here, okay? Um, a light, like I said, this is someone who is successful. They're a light to others here. This could be someone who was given um, a leadership role here, okay? And, and they needed to go down this path to heal here, okay? And so this situation could have been a path to help this person heal so that they would know what to invest in and they would make the right investments here. Like I said, there was a karmic here in the background that was hoping that this person would stay on this wrong road and give them this offering, invest in them here, okay? <clears throat> but I feel as though this karmic is now upset because, again, this person is taking their time, right? And they're looking at them in a different light here, okay? And so they're not moving forward with this investment. And it has this karmic very upset here, okay? Because this person that they were trying to suck their energy here um, or take this person's money here, um, this person is now not as receptive to them here. So they want you to shut up collective here, okay? Yeah, we got the eight of of wands here okay so this could be true communication this could be spell work here we do have a snake here in the grass so someone is definitely looking at someone as if they are a snake here maybe they are commu cutting communication um they may be traveling away from this individual i feel like this person the more time that they spend away from this individual the more they really are starting to see this person's true colors here okay and they're realizing that this may not be the situation that they want to go down here i feel like someone is getting a bird's eye view because they are um not really underneath this person and it's helping them to transform here go through some sort of transformation here to get away from these individuals yeah spirit says that's the truth here with this ace of swords bringing clarity here okay um spirit wants you to know as well that you are very heavily protected here with this seven of wands here okay so <clears throat> let's see what else is going on And someone is gaining some sort of you collective. I feel like you're gaining popularity. You're gaining attention here. Okay. That means that you need to up your protection here because now more and more people are going to start coming um, after you again because you may be exposing secrets here. Okay. People are watching you and they're afraid here because um, their deep, dark secrets are coming out. Things that they wanted to remain hidden here. Okay. You got people shocked, okay? You got people sad because the truth is coming out. They thought that they had got away with something here, okay? They thought that they were remaining underneath the radar here, okay? But it's like you're shining this giant light on what they were doing in the background. And it has people, like, really thinking and paying, like, close attention to, like, the decisions that they made. The people that were around them when they made these decisions here. Um, this is just someone who is actually taking the time to stop and think i feel as though when this karmic met this individual this individual could have just been on um pilot mode or you two collective could have just been on um pilot mode here okay where you just 
or autopilot, right? So you were just going through life, not really thinking about the actions to your consequences, letting other people influence the decisions that you were making here, even when they weren't, you know, maybe you weren't all wholeheartedly in with these decisions, you were still just kind of going. I feel like now you've stopped collective to take a look at what's around you you're evaluating and you're assessing where you are okay because you now are deciding that you want to have a clear view on where it is that you're going here okay you are definitely someone who is deciding on what direction to head in here okay now you may have sabotaged yourself in the past because either you overthought or you didn't think enough here when it came to this situation and snakes were able to come in and influence your choice here okay um so for some people you could have even been influenced by like spell work or things of that nature here but these were people that were trying to cause some sort of ending for you so that you would not be able to move forward or you would not have this clarity to close out this toxic cycle here okay yeah we got the hierophant here so you are definitely someone who um, may have been called to get on your spiritual path on your spiritual journey here to understand um how we are all connected here okay this is someone this is a cat he's like feeding uh cheese to um some some mice here okay so this person is finding help in um Hold on now. There's definitely someone finding some relief here, okay, or some knowledge here when it comes to being outside um, and seeing how we are all connected here, okay? Someone is realizing that they may have taken some sort of bait here, okay? So somebody could have been baited, like I said, to go down the wrong path here, okay? Again, tricked here. They may have given some sort of offering here. Yeah, I feel like somebody, yeah, they met a, a deity here on, at a crossroad here, okay? They were leaving some sort of offering here, but these people were like tricked here, okay? And today, yesterday I did the reading and the Divine Empress was coming out as a, a rat. But today I feel like these are the karmics coming out, okay? The karmics, they fell for some sort of trick here, okay? Offered by some sort of spiritual deity here, okay? They may have tried to leave offerings to try and change someone's destiny here with this Wheel of Fortune here. And it's backfiring on them, okay? Um, because they, they made blind moves here, okay? So now they're spinning backwards here while someone has gained some strength and they're going headed in the right direction here but they were definitely trying to hinder someone's choice of which direction they should go so that this person could remain sick here okay so that this person could remain unhealed here okay and they could like take suck this person for all of their energy here yeah they were in competition with this person here okay these karmics were in competition here or they're in competition now because of the choices that they made here okay yeah with this page of cups here because now this person is is again wanting to offer um offer this cup of love offer this um to help fill up someone's cup here that they feel may be less fortunate or you know they just want to help someone to fill up their cup here okay um they're wanting to <clears throat> give someone someone could be filling up their cup with water which water is is good to fill up your cup with but maybe you know these are cats so they probably like you know they tell you cats like milk more so it's like someone wants to offer wants to upgrade someone wants to offer someone the finest here um and this is why these people went this karmic went to the crossroad here okay because they wanted this this person that this um masculine or feminine energy went to okay their their person is who they want this person to be they wanted this person to not go towards a different direction they they wanted this person to offer their cup of love to them here yeah they wanted this person to fill up their empty cup while they didn't do anything here and so they wanted to have they caused competition to anyone that this person may have wanted to go to um romantically here so they were trying to make sure that this person only had eyes for them <clears throat> they were doing spell work to cause this person to only have eyes for them to only be inspired by them here with this ace of wands coming out here again here <clears throat> they wanted this person to choose them 
So they were behind the scenes doing spell work to um, cause this person to um, not see the truth here about them. Like I said, this person has been at some sort of distance. Maybe they're not spending as much time together with this karmic energy here. And that is what is having these people like really upset at this time here. Yeah, we got the Page of Pentacles here. Again, someone may have been... Um, this is like immature energy here, trying to influence someone's decision here. Okay, they may have gotten um, some sort of divination on this person here, and they could tell this person's future here. Okay, I'm getting the emperor here. So this is definitely an emperor energy that they were looking into this person's um, past here. They saw that this was someone who was equal, equally balanced here with the Six of Pentacles. They knew that this was someone who would, would help them up here. Okay, they just had to pretend to be helpless here. Okay, so that's how they got this masculine's attention is that they act as if they are helpless. They act as if they um, are, you know, this is someone who is definitely knew how to control or wield their feminine energy here. So I feel like this is definitely a feminine energy that took advantage of a masculine energy here, okay? Um, again, I'm definitely getting that Jezebel energy here. This is someone who tried to, you know, wanted this masculine to only have eyes for them. They were constantly, you know, um, taking from this masculine here. It was never equal give and take. They were all, always looking for this masculine to come help them and save them. They were always causing competition and strife for this masculine. Like I said, I feel like now this masculine is not as close to this karmic as he has been in previous times so if they live together they may not be living together at this time um or if they just spent a lot of time together they're spending less time together and so it's like whatever this this spell was that this karmic placed on this on this emperor energy um it's starting to wear off the less that this masculine is with this energy the less the spell is working here and, and this person is going through judgment here okay card number 20 here so someone is is hearing like the call here uh, i did a reading the other day about somebody missing their chance here and they're getting some sort of second chance here and i feel as though this person with this second chance they're actually taking their time to think okay think through what the consequences are going to be here yeah this is the king of wands here this is someone who is getting their you know they're preparing here okay they're making sure that everything is in alignment here okay so that they can um make the right decision here okay um this is someone who is preparing to build as you can see he's kind of like a blacksmith here so it's definitely someone who is preparing to build their future here and and realizing who is around them and like i said this karmic energy wants you to be quiet because you are helping this emperor energy i feel collective to see the truth here you're helping this emperor energy to um to really prepare to really properly plan right okay yeah you're helping this person to heal here with this four of wands here okay you are helping this person to recognize this second chance that they are getting here you're helping this person to recognize this call that they are getting here okay um um on these cards on the on these cards when you see the park it talks about new love here i feel as though you're showing this masculine a new way to love okay yeah you're showing this person you have the is this the queen or the king I think this is the king, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, this king of swords here. Okay, they're sharpening. They're they're gaining some sort of knowledge. You're somebody that's sharpening their mind. So you're causing this person to really tap into themselves here and really tap into the truth here. Get to the bottom of the truth here. Okay, so you may have. This is why they want you to be quiet because you've opened someone's eyes to um to something that they did not know about okay you could have opened this person's eyes to love here okay or just you know to pay attention to the people that they are around um you may have expressed okay you you're you could be someone who is practicing your spirituality you may have expressed this to this individual okay and maybe in the beginning this person may have heard about spirituality but they did not necessarily believe in it but it's like the more you talk the more you speak the more they're starting to you know i wonder if there's some truth to this situation here you may have spoken about um couples relationships here um maybe you were learning about the new um 
was a twin flame type journey type situation here maybe you were new to this situation you may have spoken about it to this person and it caused this person you kind of opened up new doors for this individual here okay or at least you may have just showed this person true love okay balanced equal love here okay um you may have brought this person peace when y'all work together okay this person feels like you know they feel complete here someone may want to have some sort of you may have opened this person up to being more romantic maybe this karmic situation wasn't necessarily very romantic here it was not based on any type of love here maybe it was mostly attraction here okay um and money here okay so i see wands and i see pentacles so it was mostly physical attraction and money that kept this relationship together so maybe you may have opened this emperor's eyes to like true love maybe they didn't think that that was something that was real here okay but something about you makes this masculine believe that maybe it's possible here okay and it has this karmic upset here okay this is why they want you to be quiet because they did not want this masculine to really believe in true love or love at all okay they just wanted this masculine to take care of them here yeah with this five of swords here um this is someone who wanted to win at all costs here okay this masculine is realizing that they are in competition here with this karmic here okay again because this karmic was always trying to make this masculine do for them pay for this um take me here um do this do that without giving this masculine any types of choice or options here and so now this masculine this emperor energy here is you know realizing that they they want to release this situation here okay so there could be like a lot of argument arguing going on between this masculine and this karm this emperor and this karmic energy at this time here okay this emperor is is speaking their truth here i feel like truths are being spoken here okay and they may um both be cutting each other down with the things that they are saying but this is again something that was destined to happen here so that this masculine would be able to make a more informed choice as well as this karmic here okay so that all of these individuals could gain some sort of healing here yeah again we got this king of swords energy so this masculine is getting knowledge here he is fighting this karmic back with this knowledge this is why they want you to be quiet because you helped this masculine to start even inquiring to get some sort of knowledge like i said this is somebody who wasn't thinking at first they was just going with the flow here yeah we got the four of wands coming out here in reverse so this is definitely a broken home here okay a broken family here, a broken circle here okay or someone i feel like someone is preparing to end some sort of marriage with some sort of information that they have received here and it's why this karmic wants you to be quiet here because they want things to go back to how they were here yeah they was trying to hold on to this person for some money here okay or maybe this masculine is realizing he's counting some money here he's realizing that this person is may have taken some money or he's realizing that he's short here when it comes to um some sort of money situation here okay he's realizing that someone had taken some money here and they're juggling it so this person has taken some money and they're off to give it to someone here back in this field that's frolicking here i wish that the camera would catch up on it here but yeah this person is realizing they're counting their money here and they're realizing that somebody took it here this person this circus person i feel like this is the karmic here and they're taking this money to take to this person back here who's also in any work here okay so this they're taking this money to take care of another individual here they could have been trying to set this person up as well with this nine of swords here i'm sorry nine of wands here if you see it's a rat here trying to get some cheese and then it's these other cats in the background here I even feel like maybe this karmic could have tried to take this masculine um, to help to take down maybe this empress energy here. Okay, so maybe she convinced this masculine energy to do some sort of spell work against the empress here. The emperor to do some sort of spell work against the empress here. Okay, because he's coming up as well as a rat when I saw that card, right? He's the one who they're setting up here. Okay. So that could be the situation for some. Or this just could have been a karmic masculine energy as well here. Yeah, we got the king of pentacles here in reverse. This is someone who has an unhealthy attachment to the, um, the material realm here. 
okay because he's coming out in reverse this is someone who's unstable here this is someone who again will do anything for money here okay they don't care whose feelings that they hurt in order to gain some sort of money here so someone definitely is about to be found out to have stolen something here someone um because usually when this is upright as the king of pentacles he's on his own business he works for his money i feel like this is someone who has stolen some money to get to where they are here to get to the top here okay um they use they did things negatively to get to the top i feel like these could be those karmic energies as well that are wanting you to be quiet because again you're exposing how they have achieved so much here okay the fact that they have been doing spell work on people you're exposing the fact that they um were making um deals with with deities at crossroads um in order to change someone's destiny here okay in order to um come out on top or control someone's life here so um for some this is just you know a leader of some sort of group maybe or just some masculine energy that gets his money by stealing and a feminine energy that also gets their money by stealing here okay um these people made deals at the crossroads here Okay, to try and change someone's destiny here, to stop someone from being able to move forward, to stop someone from coming into who they were meant to be, which is a leader, a star, um, a healer here. They were trying to stop someone from getting on their path here, possibly by teaching them the wrong thing or, again, by doing spell work over them. Okay, and these people want you to be quiet because you're exposing what they were doing here. Yeah, we have the Queen of Wands here. So um, this is definitely someone who the queen of wands is this could be someone that's very nurturing someone that's very motherly here so this could be dealing with the air sign or fire sign feminine energy and a earth sign masculine energy here um aries is very strong in this read here um <laughs> Y'all heard the little thing that was confirmation that this could be an air sign woman here, okay, that may have met a masculine when they were in their toxic, um, all of, you know, had to have the finest things, the finest cars, the finest jewels, you know, this person who was using their, um, what they had in order to attract someone here, okay, they attracted a gold digger who may have been into spell work here, okay. For some, for others, like I said, um, someone who was possibly new on their journey into spirituality may have got in contact with a masculine energy that was very controlling, very manipulative, again, all about the money, Some a masculine gold digger, if you will here, okay? Um, again, they were trying to um, hinder someone's investment here, okay? Be it investing in themselves or be it investing in spirituality, um, they were trying to hinder someone's decision when it came to what they invested in here. Yeah, they were trying to get someone set up here, okay, with this nine of wands here, okay. It was like they're constantly sending attacks at this person and watching in the background to see if these attacks are going through. So, spirit, this could be, not spirit. <laughs> <sighs> collector this could be you these people are in the background these karmics they are trying to set you up they're constantly sending you attacks and watching to see if these attacks are going through here okay because again you are hindering them from influencing the community that they were trying to influence here okay and so they're trying to shut you up because again you're making all of their secrets come out here you're making people look at them in a different light here okay they're not able to influence you're affecting them being able to influence other individuals who may not know that they are karmic or in karmic energy yeah these people are like super mad here okay this is the page of sword uh, you know knight of swords it's coming out in reverse here okay so these people are upset and angry but they're mad because they can't touch you they can't you're someone who's highly protected here so all of the things that they are sending at you they're just sending it and it's either coming right back or it's just not working here okay um, because you are protected here you and that emperor energy here you guys are equipped here okay you you are blacksmiths here you are able to create um open doors that everybody that aren't open to everyone here okay and these people underestimated these karmas underestimated you they underestimated your skill here yeah you got the 10 of um wands here okay so they are burning here by whatever they have discovered about you okay this truth 
they are burdened by this truth that they have discovered about you that they cannot harm you that you are someone who is abundant here that you are someone who has um a lot of um hold on y'all <laughs> my phone is going dead better all right yeah so they are you know they are shocked okay that they're discovering that you are the one who's more enlightened than them that you hold more rank than them okay that you are someone who has all of these you're a diamond in the rough here okay you're definitely someone who's very abundant here okay you're someone who does not need a group to go off and find your destiny here okay with this hermit car here you are someone who is not afraid to take this journey alone here okay and so they felt as if they isolated you and tried to trap you and set you up and leave you lost they didn't know that you would find your way out here okay and so now they again they are doing what they can to make you shut up here okay because they are mad that you did not decide to work with them here that you are working alone here okay and you're exposing what they have been doing here okay they're mad that you were able to transform here okay shed your old skin these people thought that you were like them here okay or they wanted you to choose to go towards them here or go towards their path here that's why they want you to shut up they want you to be quiet here because they again were in the background manipulating other people and you are hindering them from being able to manipulate people. You're causing people to really sit down and see the truth and to heal and to close out chapters in their life that no longer serve them here, okay? These people are left here heartbroken here, okay? They wanted you to be mad here with this five of cups. They wanted you to be crying over this spilled milk. They wanted you to be upset that you dropped and spilled whatever this was that they gave you here okay these they are mad here because they may have you see these drinks that are coming out it's black here so they were trying to poison you and possibly others here by things that they were giving you in your food and drink so you could be exposing this situation here okay and it has them shook because now the truth is coming out here okay it now has eyes on them these people could be under some sort of investigation here they're seeing that you walked away here or you caused someone else to walk away here from seeing the truth here Okay, I feel like this person is mad because they're realizing that someone packed up some sort of poison to give to them here, okay? And they're finally seeing the truth here about this. And these individuals, these karmics are also upset as well because, you know, you dropped the poison, okay? And But you kept the two cups that were good for you intact here, okay? And they weren't expecting that. I feel like maybe they could have even been playing like I'm hearing that game of Russian roulette where, you know, they... They poison the cups and then they the cups got mixed up okay and so again um there was some sort of trick or deception here okay so again things didn't they plan to sacrifice you here they plan for you to drink the poison here but instead the poison got spilled it didn't get drunk here and you were able to see the truth and get yourself out of this situation that these karmics had you in here okay because again they were trying to give you bad health they were trying to keep you um sick here they was trying to cause you to pass so that they could steal your energy your intelligence your gifts here okay yeah but you were guided here with the six of swords to go on your own path here okay that you didn't need this group or this organization or whoever this karmic is if it's just one person you were guided to get on your own path here okay yeah these people wanted you to miss out on some sort of opportunity here by keeping you stuck in the dark in the cold here without any money here okay that was the plan that they had have for you okay that's why they want you to shut up because you you figured out this plan here and not only did you figure out this plan but you are telling other individuals about this plan that they have for them as well and now it has these people heartbroken here with this three of swords because now they're losing money now they're left out in the cold now they're missing out on opportunities here okay and these people could even be facing jail time here yeah, we got the two of pentacles here. Someone is definitely in danger here. They're juggling what they they have left here, okay? And they're blindly, like, making a move forward here. So they're trying to really work hard here to build their empire back up, okay? This karmic, these karmics here, they're, they're working hard to try and fix this mess that has been started here. But again, this person, they're juggling. They don't have much to work with here, and they're also in danger. Like, any false move, and they're, oh, excuse me, spiritual belt 
any false move and they're out of there is the situation that I'm getting when it comes to this. Yeah, somebody's being cut off here. Was that the Queen of Pentacles in reverse then? No. <clears throat> so with the Seven of Swords, y'all know that's deception here. And then we have the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles here. So somebody was able to see the deception here, okay? And they were able to invest in something else here yeah this person was able to invest in their healing here so maybe this queen of pentacles realized that there was something that was not right here when it came to this situation that's why this person was able to leave she saw that this um queen of swords energy here or someone that was very cold here or maybe it was the queen of pentacles take it how you resonate somebody saw that there was some sort of deception here okay and they spoke this truth about this deception here that they see or saw here, okay? Somebody realized that there was not enough water here, so they may have, or there was just not, things weren't lining up, so they may have gone on a journey here in order to bring back some sort of balance here, okay? Or in order to equal something out or to pour onto this, this field here because the Queen of Pentacles is someone who nourishes the land here. And this is this Queen of Pentacles is looking at the land and realizing that something is missing here. So someone may have realized that something was missing and they went on some sort of journey and someone saw them on this journey and tried to deceive them here. This is someone who was actually a healer here. Okay, someone who um, already had inner direction, they listened to their inner direction here. And that's why these karmics want, yeah, they want you to be quiet because of this justice here. You were able to point out um, this deception that these people had here, okay? And it's bringing balance here, okay? For you within your relationships, it's bringing balance for your land here, okay? It's bringing balance um, <clears throat> just overall here. That's why these people want you to shut up because they don't want things to be in balance here. They want people to not be paying attention here. They want people to not be able to troubleshoot what the, the problem is here and you're you're able to help people pinpoint what's going on here yeah you're the star here you give people direction here okay you help people figure out what choice which path to go here you help people to let go of toxic things and move forward here because you yourself collective was able to go through this situation and that's why these people are mad here because they did not want you to um, yeah, they wanted to deceive you here, okay, with this seven of wands here, okay, they did not know that you were protected here, they didn't want you to have protection, they didn't want you to gain strength, to realize that you were bigger than them here, okay, they didn't want you to take off this mask here and see that you were different from them here. They wanted you to remain in a situation where you were always... Um, moving off passion but not thinking here okay steady in and out hot cold energy here they didn't want you to be sure about anything and they want you to be quiet because you are helping other people to be sure yeah if you can see this nine of pentacles here nine of pentacles is um wish fulfillment right it's about um believing in yourself trusting your intuition okay trusting in the higher power to guide you here as you can see this person had well this this cat has like sharks surrounding them here but this person is just kind of floating here okay they're realizing you know um that they are safe here they're trusting in the divine to help them here to get out of this situation here okay to help cleanse them and balance them and temper them here they know that um, so this is someone you could have been even put in a situation here, okay? Like the most high led you to these karmics so that you could expose um, what these karmics were here. The, the vultures or snakes or um, sharks that these karmics could be here. You know, they go for blood here, okay? So, but you are someone who listens to your intuition. You are so, um, you went within here, Um and you are able to trust and put all your trust and hope into the most high that they wouldn't let this, you know, this circle of sharks get to you here. 
okay? You are someone who was balanced here. You went through this situation here so that you could help others get through this situation. That's why these people want you to be quiet here. They don't want you to speak on the experience. They don't want you to tell um, people that you were the one who got away here and how you got away here because it puts, you know, it, it makes their plans go bad here, yeah. We got the Six of Cups here. Someone could be reminiscing about you. This Emperor energy is reminiscing about things from the past here. They're looking back. They're realizing um, all the sharks that they had surrounded themselves with here. Okay. And again, them seeing you have faith to get out of this situation with these sharks is giving them faith that they can also get out of this situation here. Yeah, we got the Nine of Swords. So now these karmics are shook here. Like I said, they're scared here. Um, they're in their head here, okay? They're afraid to really face themselves here. I do feel, though, the emperor energy is also facing themselves as well here. Yeah, and they're going on this journey here to get answers here, okay? With this uh, hermit card. So someone is definitely isolating themselves, yeah, and becoming a major manifester here. This person is realizing how they manifested their life here. I feel like, Collective, you helped this emperor to open their eyes to this situation here. Okay, to the sharks that they had surrounded themselves with here. Okay, you help this person to become this balanced manifester here, this magician here. Okay, also, like I said, this magician could have also been a karmic here as well. They tried to manipulate a earth angel to go off of their um, course here. They could have tried to poison this earth angel here. Okay, and now they are seeping repercussions. It's coming back on them, the things that they did here. Yeah, this person could have had other individuals with this Three of Cups working with them here. Okay, they could have been celebrating. Like I said, they had plans to give you something um, to drink here. Okay, but your ancestors were able to help you um, to not succumb to whatever this magician was trying to do here when it came to some sort of manipulation with a drink within a group gathering here okay yeah you could have had to travel to this magician here with this eight of wands here where they gave you some sort of celebration where they gave you something to drink like i said they were trying to manipulate you in the background here these people want you to be quiet about this coming out here as well as this could be for this emperor energy could have been involved with um a feminine energy that in liked other feminine energies here and again they was trying to suck this magician's energy here okay or this person this emperor who um is able to manifest okay the life that they desire here like i said they baited this person out to take this person's money here again it's gonna be different for everybody but these karmics are upset because they're gained are being exposed here okay collective and they want you to be quiet here yeah you're helping someone to prepare prepare here okay you're helping someone to manifest what it is that they want here with this seven of cups also to come out of these illusions here okay you're helping this person to make a choice here to prepare for the choice that they've made here yeah to go in a different direction to leave the past behind here so you are helping this person to find themselves here okay and that's why these karmics want you to be quiet here okay yeah we got the page of uh swords coming out here again here so um these people are watching here they're not liking the information that you are putting out and they're wanting they're doing what they can to try and shut you up here okay but it's backfiring and it's called it's drawing unwanted attention to them okay their ploy to to make you be quiet is causing unwanted attention to come towards them here okay because again you are um calling them out and again that spirit saying that's the truth here with this ace of swords popping out here you are someone who is getting a lot of attention like i said and you're drawing attention to them to what they are doing as well to try and stop people from moving forward so yeah to keep people from getting um from following their passions here okay you are someone who is meant to inspire others and these karmics are upset they want you to be quiet because they don't want you inspiring um anybody else to move forward here okay So let's get a message from spirit for you collective continue you know to keep on with your making noise here okay exposing the truth i feel like that's the path that you are meant to be on here that's why you were given this gift to be able to see what people are doing behind the scenes to be able to speak your truth here that's why you have all of this protection here with this seven of wands here you're protected spiritually and physically here okay 
That's what's got these karmics jealous and mad and wanting you to shut up. Wanting to cause competition and strife for you here. But spirit is here protecting you here. And I'm going to get the message that they have for you. Thank you. So it says, dear you, check in occasionally with yourself about your motives behind actions you plan on taking, especially when you have an end game in mind. Is the source of your motivation desire or entitlement? Maybe you're drawn to a certain path because you think it will bring you a feeling related to the outcome you seek, like safety or wholeness. Know that you will see a reflection in the outer world of the motive that drives you forward. Do you need a motive? Can you simply be pulled in a direction your soul calls you towards joy, discovery, growth, or adventure, participating in something compelling and meaningful without trying to define it? If you can step forward, surrender to whatever spirit has in store for you, you will be amazed at how things turn out. Check your motives, then hand them over to spirit. Everybody here wants the best for you. Life loves you more than you know, okay? So again, that's going with this whole situation. Someone could have been swayed to go down the wrong direction here. Okay, and Spirit is saying check your motives here, okay? Like I said, th these karmics want you to be quiet here because you are helping other people to realize that they should check their motives here, okay? Like I said, you help someone open their eyes to the snakes um, that were around them and these karmics are mad and shook about this, okay? And so again, be prepared to make sure that you are on the right path here, okay? Make sure that you're checking in with spirit here, okay? Because they are protecting you. Make sure that you are um, doing this more to help and not just out of ego as well here. So spirit is just telling you to be aware of that. But when you all, when you place spirit, God, the most high at the head of your life, okay? And you follow the, the prompts that the most high gives you, again, they'll continue to protect you. Like I said, you have this light that you are shining here and there are karmics here who want to um, dull or dim that light here, but just know that you have protection and to keep staying prayed up, okay? Don't let these people, don't let these these haters stop you from being on your path, okay? Don't let these people sway you in your decision. So that's all I got for you guys. I hope this message um, helped you guys out. I hope it brought you the clarity that you needed in this type of situation. Make sure that you guys hit the like button, share, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you know when I go live or when I upload more videos like these, okay? Thank you so much um, for everything that y'all do to help me and my channel grow. I'm gonna go ahead and end that Reiki. Remember, you can click on another video to get you some of that healing Reiki energy or join my membership channel where I do the live sessions with you guys and we channel that energy to more specific places, okay? Again, thank you guys so much for being here and until the next time, I love you, bye.